Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my first bi-weekly budgeting um, as close to a zero-based budget as we feel comfortable doing. You guys, I have done a zero-based budget before. It's usually a general monthly budget, but I am really trying to pay attention to where every dollar goes so that we can throw as much extra income towards debt as possible. So I am starting off with um, my paycheck that will cover the next two weeks of expenses. Um, me and my husband both get paid um, different. So my husband gets paid once a month and I get paid every two weeks. And so this will be my first paycheck for the year 2021. And so I am going to budget out everything that I'm expecting for this paycheck um, and how we are going to manage our money and pay towards this goal of an extra $500 credit card payment minimum this month. But if you're new to my channel, hey guys, my name is Alex. I am a wife and mother of three, and I am really trying to just enjoy this journey called life, you guys. And so one of the missions that I am on in the year 2021 is to eliminate our debt and also grow our savings so that eventually we can create generational wealth for our children. But yes, you guys, if you are a returning subscriber, Thank you so much for coming back to another video, you guys. I appreciate your love and your support. And I really enjoy you coming back to watch another video and to help hold me accountable. But if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And I would love for you to join my friendship family. But let's get into this video, you guys. So first here, I have what I showed you already, which is our January expenses. Our goal is to pay an additional $500 towards credit cards for me to track my budget weekly and to eat at home more. So these are all the expenses for the month. Like I said, my husband gets paid once a month. So what we typically do is my husband will pay the main household expenses. So I will go through here, you guys, on our calendar and show you what has already um, come out. The gym has already came out. One of our Nebraska furniture um, credit cards, which is almost basically will be paid off by the end of the month. It was already paid. The minimum payment was just $17. I paid $75 on it and I will make an additional payment um, as well. The mortgage, my husband goes ahead and pays the mortgage with his check. Our life insurance policy already came out. Our phone um, insurance has come out as well. And then also our AT&T bill. So I have gone back and forth. I, at this moment, do not feel completely comfortable. Let me actually put this to the side, you guys. I do not feel completely comfortable with sharing everything. But I do want people to hold me accountable. So, I went ahead and I got this budget sheet from the Budget Mom, and it is her paycheck bill tracker. Now, I do not feel comfortable at this point, not saying never, but right now, to disclose our income. So, our bills that have been paid already in the beginning of the month have already been taken out of the account. I've already checked the account. Everything is accounted for until the bill that we have on the 8th. And so, this is what we have left over from my check after the next two weeks bills come out. So, I know it seems confusing, you guys. I'm trying to learn as well. Um, and I'm trying to learn the best way to do this for our household because, like I said, my husband pays the majority of um, the household expenses and I cover everything in between. So, what I'm saying when I reference this I get paid on the 8th and I will get paid again on the 22nd. So my check is covering all of these expenses. We have a credit card right here, Apple storage, Amazon free time. Sorry guys, you can't see. But um, like I said, my husband pays like the mortgage. He also pays utilities ahead of time. 
So like here we can see at the end of the month, the electric bill is due. He's already paid $205 towards the electric bill. It is higher this month. And so if we do have anything left over, sometimes it's like five, $10 or something like that. If we end up going over, um, because he does use the app that predicts how much your bill will be, then we will pay that on the due date. But he's already paid $205 towards the electric bill. So I can mark that bill off. Also, he has already paid ahead for the water bill. So I can mark that bill off. So my check is covering the bills from the 8th to the 22nd when I get paid again. That's what I'm budgeting for. And also any kind of sinking funds and cash envelopes, if that makes any sense. So I hope you guys can see after the next two months, two months, after the next two weeks bills have been paid, this is what we are left over with, $742.84. And so this is my leftover amount for my envelopes and everything else that is budgeted. So first envelope that I will be stuffing is our groceries and household envelope. I budget $250, I'm sorry, $225 for that. That's 200 for groceries for two weeks and 25 for household items. That is how much I will put in to the cash envelope as well. Then for our gas envelope, I have been budgeting $62.50 because we have been using less gas since everybody has been home and I am the only one between me and my husband that goes out to work every day. He works from home. Then we have another cash envelope, which is for grooming. And I added it to be clothes as well. And that is $70 a paycheck that I've been putting aside. That's for when my sons get haircuts. If I get something for my hair um, or, you know, clothes, the kids grow out of shoes, socks, underwear, that will come out of this fund right here. So we have our grocery in our household, our gas, our grooming and our clothes. Those are items that come out every paycheck. I also have spending money. Me and my husband both will get $25 for two weeks. So this is spending money and this will be cash. I'm gonna put a star by it. And that'll be $50 that I'm going to take out cash. <clears throat> and then our fun money is for movie night, pizzas, things like that. And that'll be $40 for two weeks. And I'm going to put a star there as well. Reason for the stars, these are cash. This is cash that I'm actually going to take out of our account. We have Capital One 360 accounts that we use for our groceries and household budgets our gas and our grooming and our clothes so that we do not have that cash on hand at home, but it is in a bank. So our envelopes total right here is going to be $447.50. <clears throat> that will leave us with $295.34. Then we have our sinking funds now that we are going to start funding, you guys. This is the first year where I'm starting in January. Middle of the year last year, I started to save for Christmas, but these other sinking funds, I have not. Now, my paycheck will not fund a lot of the sinking funds. My paycheck will not cover a lot of the sinking funds. Reason being is that I get paid every two weeks. My husband... He gets an overtime check most months. And so what we are focused on with his overtime checks, half of it will go towards extra debt payments and half of it will go towards actual um, adding to our emergency fund. We have an emergency fund, but we would like to get three to six months of an emergency fund, even though we are in the process of paying off debt. We just, we wanna make sure that we have a cushion, a nice size cushion, so that as we're paying off debt, we do not go back into it. So that's just our reasoning, you guys. You don't have to necessarily do that, but we believe in saving and paying off debt at the same time. 
So for sinking funds, we have $295.34 left over. <clears throat> and we are starting off small. So we have a car maintenance. And we will be putting $50 per check into our car maintenance. That will cover registrations, any kind of repairs, oil changes, tires, things like that. We also have a child care because in the summer, child care for us is more expensive with all three needing full-time care and a back to school. And we're starting off small with that. We're going to just do $25 a paycheck for right now. And then for Christmas and birthdays, we are doing 25 as well. So the total in our sinking fund will be $100 per check to go towards our sinking fund. And that means we should have $195.34 left. From there, now it says to pay an extra debt payment. So if we have $195.34 left, we are gonna go ahead and we are going to budget $145 to go towards whichever debt we are paying off at this time which are Nebraska credit cards, being that it's such a small balance, we are gonna go ahead and pay both those off this month. So that means that total, we had $145 go towards extra debt. And now we have $50.34 left over. And so we are gonna take that $50 and 34 cents that's left over, and we are going to put into our savings $50. That will bring it to a total of $50. And we will have 34 cents left over to be in our account. Granted, you guys, my husband will also get paid an overtime check tomorrow, but what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and do that separate. We will just divide his overtime check in half. Half will go towards um, savings, like I said, and half will go towards sinking funds. So we will be able, depending on how much the overtime check is, contribute more to the car maintenance and more to the child care. We will just divide it evenly or as evenly as we can, and then the rest will go towards savings. So yes, you guys, I'm happy that you bared with me through this. This is my first time trying to do it every dollar for my uh, bi-weekly paychecks. Like I said, right now, I don't feel necessarily comfortable, but I may get more comfortable. Just know that our beginning of the month bills have already been paid and I budgeted out for the next two weeks bills. After I paid the next two weeks bills, this is what I had left over. And then I allotted for our cash envelopes, our sinking funds, an extra debt payment, and extra savings. So yes, you guys, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you some motivation, maybe some ideas if you're paid bi-weekly and you struggle like me with just figuring out the numbers, being able to get it to a zero weekly or bi-weekly versus the month. I do use the Every Dollar app to do our monthly budget, and so I'm able to zero it out there. But for some reason, when I'm trying to make everything have a place every two weeks, it is just a little confusing for me, but I'm going to go ahead and take this. We are going to make this extra debt payment. We're going to put the money in savings. We're going to contribute to our sinking funds and everything will kind of line up, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to join my friendship family by hitting that subscribe button before you go. And I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.